six in the morning. We're off to the showcase. Very, very lonely. Everybody is Nita in. Everybody ready for the showcase? Anita, she in yet? No. There's half of the trailer. Crafty ponies. And that side's for Nita. Look at, look at Nita all spruced up. Oi. The girls did this yesterday. All spruced up, looking like the queen she is. It's about 7.30 in the morning now. First stop, we needed a bacon roll or something. And how's she doing? And she's fine. No sweating. It's good, nice and quiet. And uh, the old truck's doing well as well. Yeah, guys, we've brought the trailer because we've got four of us um, Mel, me, Charlotte, and um, Tanya. And you, you can't you can't get four legally in the our lorry. So they prefer to bring our three and a half ton lorry. So that's why we're bringing our trailer. Um, but it's working out all right. It's, it's, it's quite comfortable in here sat down there's me waiting ages let's see if we can see them where are they where are they oh here they are there's me waiting down there hey <laughs> well guys i'm not gonna moan tanya said oh i've got your extra bacon <laughs> look how much bacon on that guys how on earth can a 2.2 Pull all of this with all the slot. No idea. Come on, Shah. <laughs> Look at that coat. I've not made it that cold. No. Is that your Equitrek? Equitrek. Equidry. Wow. Here's a coat for you. Equidry. Where's the groom? Where's the groom? Oh. Last one. Oh, there's always one. Come on! Keep, don't make a run, she keeps us all in check anyways. We need Mel. Because you're on camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that sky! It's beautiful. We're I thought it was going to rain. We were told it's going to be horrendous weather. Well, we're leaving Wales now. <laughs> Left Wales and going into England. That's why, is it? Oh my gosh, it's blue everywhere. The sky is still beautifully blue. And we are about how far, Mum? Two minutes, 0.5 miles. Two minutes. minutes. <laughs> the dressage championships were here last week. Yep. Were they? Yeah, my friend Phoebe was up here. Wow. All the girls from Moor Farm are up here. And there it is, that's where we've just got to, uh, Burry Farm. That, that's the kind of advertising poster for it. And there we are, look, we've been added. We were added late in the corner there. Uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I think once before, just to spectate. And it's a whole array of different horsemanship skills from Liberty, which is there, look, you've got Ben Atkinson, uh, a load of other really good horsemen. I think this year there were 70 horses turned up and about 30 different people showing their skills and what how they could teach other people you know help them with their horsemanship uh so yeah a very 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 diverse a really good couple of days um so yeah that that's it there guys that's where we just got to well are you all set up ready yes. for tomorrow yes let's have a look then and what you got here then oh that's all our little sayings Huh? Yeah, with flags. Flags are set up. Safety ties. Safety chin ties, chin straps. Yeah. Little sticks. Yeah. Halters. Yeah. Oh, and who's is all of that? <laughs> That's not all Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte. 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 I'm just telling the girls that mums yeah. know how to speak to Santa. Oh. <laughs> so. Brilliant. We've got to move the trailer in that now. So guys, if you did see anything on uh, Tanya's little little shop table there or Charlotte's crafty ponies and all the accessories then the uh, shop shopify they call it will be on on the a link on the video 
and it is coming up to Christmas, Charlotte keeps reminding me to tell people, but they are really cool. I didn't really take any notes of them until the showcase, and Charlotte kind of showed me everything, and it was really, really, really impressive with all the, 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 the you know, like the, you can't really see there, but all the bits you get with them for kids and rasps and everything. So yeah, um, Shopify, if you need to get any of the items that I use for my um, helping horses and also Charlotte's stuff as well. Okay. So these are the horses. In the stables. Nita's got her stable. Steve Young. Yeah. Oh, Nita. Let's have a look, Nita. Did you film those very special horses coming through there, Tanya? Look at that. Huh? Did you film those? Those horses? Yeah, did you film them? I looked at that. Because I'll show what they do, a picture. Oh, okay. Um, All right, there we are. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> And those are the horses there, Mia Rodney's horses. They do all the liberty and those were at the top of the stables there. Giving her a bit of exercise, Shell. <laughs> Just uh, having a stroll around. This is arena, arena, two. arena two, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock. Be there or be square, Steve Young. <laughs> we'll well, Nita says she wanted to see Crafty Ponies. Oh, my Crafty Ponies? Yeah. She wants to go see Crafty Pony store. Charlotte's been setting up. Oh, there we go, yeah. Neat's Crafty Ponies. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you think? Does she like it? Yeah. She's choosing her colour. Choosing your colour, Neat. Crafty Ponies. <laughs> Just showing you to the arenas. Yeah. This is the Sunday demo. Sunday it? demo, ten o'clock, Steve. Hey, Mel, I wanted to get you in then. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, we we got lights. lights. So we just had a little, uh, a little oh, yeah. ride in here in the main, <laughs> in the main. Uh, so guys, it's at this point that you've just seen where Charlotte, Tanya, and Mel thought it'd be a great idea to do some lives. Now. I, I, I'm not a fan of lives because it kind of uh, goes into your head that everyone's watching. It kind of can affect you sometimes. But um, Tanya and Charlotte and Mel thought it would be a great idea to do some build-ups to our times where we did our little bit in the two arenas. Do a little bit of build-up lives and actually film my segments live. Now, I, I think there was about four or five they did in total. And I, I, I kind of said, well, I don't think that'd be that popular, to be honest. I, is it worth doing, you know? And uh, no, they went with it. Now, i not boasting at all about these viewing figures, but I've just been told, um, James and Charlotte, I just tallied it up. The, the lives, the couple of lives they did, we've had, guys, over a quarter of a million views from them. So... It was absolutely amazing, amazing to have that kind of views on our lives. Uh, and that's just on the Facebook ones. Um, so, yeah, they were popular, these lives, uh, especially this one now. Which well, What I'll actually do now, I'll put... A lot of people would have seen, obviously, a quarter million views, a lot of people have seen the lives. But I'll just put, for this little, you know, brief of our trip video, I'll put a couple of the little bits of the lives... Um, just the, 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 a couple of little bits of them uh, for you to see how the live sort of went. Just brought Nita into the So this was the arena. first little live they did. Um, I'll just put some little clips just of this to on. See. Oh, there she is. She is super calm. She hasn't looked at absolutely anything. I'm going to ask a question. Oh, ask a question. Who wants us to go live tomorrow? Who wants us to like go live tomorrow? Okay. 
There we go. Oh, she looks very fancy and beautiful. Oh, I can't zoom. Oh, oh nearly ran me over there. <laughs> so that was the first little live they did, guys. I've, I've gone live. Oh, she's got Again, yeah. <laughs> Woo, go, Mel. Woo. Oh, our dad's going. <laughs> Those were a couple of uh, lives. I've only took tiny bits from them. But those are the Friday night. We travelled up there. We were allowed to go in the arenas to, to just make sure the horse is all right. And um, there, I thought that was the end of the lives for, for the Friday night. But Charlotte had got one more live to do. Uh, and I'll put a little tiny little bit of that on. And that, the next one's quite late at night, actually, when we went back to so check like on Nita. I said, there's one more live to come on the Friday night, quite late. Basically, we'd all gone off to uh, a pub, B and B, found it, got everything sorted. But we decided after a meal that we'd head back just to check on me to check everything's all right. Um, so we headed back. There was just me and uh, Mel and Charlotte. We headed back there, checked on a let her go for a nice walk because she'd been in the trailer like seven eight hour trip up to Burry Farm from where we live. So we take her a walk and we, Charlotte said she just wanted to go and check who else had set shops up in the little shopping area. Um, so I said, well, I'll just bring Nita in. And there wasn't anyone in there, really. So I, I said, no, she'd be fine. So I, I started walking Nita around the shopping area. And uh, Charlotte said, oh, I'm going live again. And do you know what, guys? I, I, again, I, I thought, oh, just filming a few stalls of the shopping. It wouldn't really be of interest to that many people but guys there there's there's been like 60,000 or 70,000 on this this one alone so people were interested Charlotte knows what 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 people are interested in seeing I'm sure I have no clue so uh, I'll show you a little tiny bit of that one now this was quite late at night um here we go okay so it is quite late but we're we're bringing Nita in to see what shops are available tomorrow so in here, we've got some beautiful paintings. Oh. Right, Nita is far faster than me. Oh my gosh, how amazing would that look with Mr. Darcy and Jasmine? Oh, got fabulous saddle pads and numbers. Oh. Planters, how awesome are those planters? They're horsey planters. We've got oh that that top model I know do fantastic um, um, magazine, mag not magazines, like coloring books with horses. We've got a Pirelli stand there, like Be Ben Atkinson's where he's actually um, practicing, ready for or last rehearsal for tomorrow. Oh my gosh, Mel would have a fit if she saw if she saw Nita live like that <laughs> with all those shavings. We'd be sacked. She'd be so mad. Here we go. Oh wow, look at these. We're coming, we're coming, yeah. We're our principles. Respect my space. Unrequested. Get to the feet. Always with quality and grace. Make our idea the, the horses idea. Horses or whoever, because <laughs> works with you sometimes. From day, break down from the breakthrough. Yeah. The three second rule. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, you are live, but it's fine. There's only 500 watching us at the moment. And here is. Charlotte's Crafty Ponies. We've got all the colours available. Unfortunately, not the white, but everyone knows that's really hard to get. We've got riders, we've got horses, we've got tack, we've got stables, mucking out sets, buckets. Or oh, somebody just messaged me they want Danny Dentist, so I'll have to put him aside. Here's Mum's stand here. Oh, Dad's on his way out there. About that tomorrow. Lucy's in her equity dry there. I'm in, ooh, I'm in mine too. Okay, so we've got some people in there. Final, final rides. Nita, we're following Dad over here. Oh, gosh, that was a bit... Oh, no, what's he doing? Uh-oh. You are live. Please do not swear. 
Oh, oh, you'll get a bit nervous when he tries to do something a bit different. Oh, oh, good. Deb, I didn't know that wasn't planned. Are you okay, Neats? And so is she. Nothing left in Neats, she's tired. You okay, Neats? Hello, pretty girl. Okay, so this is one of the um, warm up arenas in here, isn't it, Dad? Gonna go through here. And this is good. Oh gosh, you can see the lights. We won't. Just come, this guys, and Dan has just come. <laughs> there we go. So we'll go back through there. We'll we'll video tomorrow. A little teaser there. A little teaser. Oh, she really will have a fit with all those shavings in her tail. Come through here. I don't know if people are really interested in us following you round, but we're just following you round. Dad, yeah, Dad's got to carry the buckets because they are heavy. Um, this is the biggest lorry I've ever seen. This is Ben Atkinson's lorry. It is absolutely... Massive. Humongous. Like the biggest lorry. I'm still going. I'm still going. I'm still going to the front. <laughs> ben told me that lorry so that is sometimes okay, so we're gonna stables now, them in that lorry. Dad, they start being, refilling the buckets. We didn't fill them up like high enough for him. Trailer. He, he uses oh, them there to, she is. To stable them Beautiful in. Neat. Get them used to it. Right, come on, Dad. Two buckets at a time. Come on. Sorry about the quality, guys. Okay, but there we just go. The lives, aren't they? That's what they're like. It's a bit sloshy now. Yeah, we've had lots of people back and forth. Dad, could Dad park? Dad, could he have parked any closer to that's, the stables? That's my truck. So we've got here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, pretty. This one jumps over other horses, guys, oh. in Liberty. This is the one that jumps How over horses in the I line think, down. I don't know, but I think this is the one that Mia um, does Liberty with and jumps over other horses. It looks going to be there absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one there. Oh, we've got a lovely big Palomino there. Lovely grey. Sorry, we are live, but I'm just going, just going up. Oh, oh you look very snuggly in there, don't you? Okay, so we're just coming down here. Mel's just made sure Nita's stables all beautiful for her. Okay. You've done a fabulous job, Mel. We're live, so we're just going round. There we go. Going round. Okay, so we are... Right, Dad, I'm going to say bye now. I'm going to turn it off as we're doing feeds. So, Nita's nighttime feed. There you go, Neats. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Speak tomorrow. A big day, Nita. <laughs> horses everywhere. I think there's something like 70 horses in this showcase. Um, they... Ready, Tan? Oh, what do we want now then? Sandwich and a cup of tea. Let's do it. So it was lovely, guys. We went over for a, to get a little bit of a sandwich or something, and then the organisers said, "Oh no, you've got all your food upstairs. It's all." It's all there for you. Here's your vouchers. So, guys, look at that. Lovely full breakfasts and everything. Fantastic. And we even had a roast dinner all included. So we were very looked after. So, guys, we just had a beautiful breakfast. I spoke to a few people. And then I was on the way into the shopping area to see how Charlotte was getting on. And um, I saw a horseman called Sean Coleman, who we were having a good chat with. Uh, another friend of mine, a budding horseman, Barry Collier, he came over. So we're there basically just all having a chat. And then at the middle of nowhere, this guy here, the, the one riding the horse here, he he came up to me and just kind of surprised me a little bit and said, oh, oh, Steve, are you Steve? I said, yeah. He said, oh, I've come from a long way to, to see you. I've come, come to see you. And he, I, I was took aback a little bit. I said, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll have a chat with you in a minute. Uh, fella, I'll, I'll just uh, just finish my conversation with these two. And um, anyway, the, the guy said, OK, and, and he walked off. So I'd finished talking to Sean and Barry and I thought, I wonder where that fella is. So 
I was walking around for ages trying to find him. And basically, what I'll show you now is a little video I took. Uh, I found him. And I said, sorry about that, fella. I was just just busy. No, no problem, he said. Uh, and you'll see, uh, you let me film him. And you'll see what a lovely, lovely story this is. Just to see what you think of this. I had this real nice gentleman, uh, Vincent. Vincent. Um, this guy's come over. This is his, he's documenting his journey, guys. He's come from Northern Ireland and he's come round to us. Um, and Vincent's just started his first horse using a lot of my methods and others. You've done, you've done your research. Yeah. And uh, he's doing really, really well, guys. I'll show you a little clip of his horse now. And there's Vincent's first ever horse he started, guys. I didn't ask the name of the horse, but it certainly looks a lovely horse. Uh, look at that, his first ever one. And we've just been having a lovely chat. And isn't that nice, guys? Got a guy really keen on... Um, I mean, what would you like to be eventually? A horse trainer, is that... Is yeah, that, so yeah? I, I would love to do... And you haven't what, been taught any bad ways yet? You, you, no. you, 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 you're starting right. Yeah, That's I, I'd to, love, love to do yeah. what you do uh, oh, right, over okay. in Northern Ireland. And help, well, I haven't got long left at my system. age, so <laughs> you might be the new uh, Steve Young, hopefully. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot of guys in Northern Ireland, is there? No. That do your... Um, and what's your second name, Vincent? Vice. Vincent. Vice. Vice, okay. Um, right, lovely job. I'll, uh, I'll show you a little clip now, guys. Oh, what's that now? So it's just uh, some of my so documenting of, wow. of coming my, over my travels, yeah. So this is Newcastle, where yeah. I started from. This is the, the so you're an artist at as well. You're an uh, interesting character, then, fella. <laughs> and that's uh, Newcastle Castle there. Yeah. And then a journey down Have you to, enjoyed your trip? to York. Have you enjoy so yeah, how long has it took you to do that? I uh, came over on Tuesday. These drawings, guys. So Tuesday. Oh, you've been a few days then. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Uh, so, spent a and few... do you do this at the most most places you go? You do these little drawings and that? No, I mean, this, 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 is, this is like the first sort of holiday coming wow. over here for myself. Yeah. So I thought um, I might try and, and you like, hunted me out. Document it, yeah. <laughs> you hunted me out. Well, well, I hope you enjoyed the demo is, uh, later. Oh, that's nice. Do you know Sovereign Quarter Horses? Yes, David Deptford. So I just spent the last two days down there. Oh, how there. did you get on down there? It was brilliant. I did a few oh, lessons. Wow. David, uh, fantastic. Down, down with them, so... That's great, mate. Brilliant. Yeah. Did you enjoy riding his horses? Did you have some lessons? It, it was. It was brilliant. Um, I absolutely. I, I much prefer the Western riding and stuff. Well, we fall off a lot less in the Western <laughs> saddles. That's what I always um, say. There's ev everything over in Northern Ireland. Yeah. There's so much English riding and everything. Yeah. But and but I'll be the, honest with you. It's the, to me. It's just costume. Yeah, I start yeah. an English horse the same as a Western horse. It's only when you start competing one-handed and yeah, things like that the, or doing the, the, fun, the fundamentals are definitely very similar. Similar, stuff, yeah. Horse and ship the, the saddles are much nicer. Looking. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Right. Yeah. And that's is that. Have you been on on your horse much so, at this stage? A few times. So or? we we had been on and just. Uh, slowly walking around the arena. And that was your bit. first trot there. We've just been having a lovely there you chat. Go, guys. Isn't that nice, you, guys? I filmed that, that as I met him. Really keen as I on, saw um, all that, as I, I mean, saw all like the artistry he was doing. Trainer, very so, deep so, character. Yeah, and you know, you get a feeling do. sometimes the guy's a real good guy. And although he's very, very deep, this fella, I really enjoy talking to him. And I just felt, you know, I felt like he could, he's the kind of guy that could really get deep in the horses and help, help some troubled horses. Um, and I just felt it, um, and Vincent's you know that's the first horse he's, he's okay. started, um, right, and I reckon in the year's uh, time when he started a few more now, horses guys. and really got got oh, together with it all, so, uh, and he said to me he doesn't mind, he, he's mentioned. not even oh. worried about the money side, okay. he just wants to work with lots of horses so, and then hopefully make a living from it. So yeah. guys, watch out for this fella, what an interesting character. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. So the next we we were asked to do a. Ask the professionals it was called when they call several professionals up and then you have uh, you have to answer questions from the crowd so although i was last on i mean i think this was about sort of tw midday something like that when i was asked to go in arena b and just do a few answering of questions we 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 were told we would be on about 4 30 in the afternoon which to be honest we, we were last on um uh, it's not really what I wanted, but you just go with whatever. We, we, we'd we never been before. We just uh, said, yep, yeah, fine. So we were last on. So this sort of kept us busy with some, some answering and generally flitting between people and talking to loads of people and helping Tanya with the shop and lots and lots and lots of selfies, believe it or not. <laughs> yes, really. He is in the main arena, another and um, Ask the Professionals session. 
This was quite a big one in the main arena. I was asked to join that. Very interesting questions, actually. Thought-provoking. And each of the professionals here sort of had a different slant on it. But it's all horsemanship. And it all sort of ends up in the same direction. But here you've got me answering a question. You've got Jason Webb next to me. Very, very good horseman in his own right. You've got Sean Coleman, Mia Rodney. And Ben Atkinson, that's the one. Looking at his phone, looking very bored there. Uh, but he um, he, do, he did a lot of the... The very showcasey stuff with all uh, lots of horses at Liberty. So, okay, so after this, now we're getting serious. We're getting ready for our performance, uh, if you can call it that. I mean, it's not really a performance like a lot of the showcase performances. It was a learning video. I had to think to myself, what am I going to do to help people? And uh, we came up with, with, with a very basic plan of just showing my main principles, uh, my main principles, and keeping it very simple, but adding, which I can't help, I add a bit of laughter to it. I always try to lighten everything up, and guys, I'll show you, it went so well. Charlotte helped me no end. Everyone helps, Mel, uh, and yeah, Tanya filmed it live, so I can show a couple of the live clips now of, my, of our uh, debut, for the Horsemanship show, Showcase um, with me and Nita and Charlotte. I'll show you a few clips of that now. So let's put a huge hand of applause together for Steve Young and Charlotte. Hi guys, we're live. There they come. Last on. Where you're watching from. We love to see where you're watching from. <laughs> Yeah, they are my steps, and they're nearby toilet, so, you know, I wish Charlotte had uh, done the first video 20 years ago, but we're here, we'll, we'll keep going. Tanya's there, filming me. Now, Tanya, whatever happens, keep filming. I will. All right? Oh, I will. And if anything does happen, Charlotte, I want you on this box, and I want you pulling some shapes. Diversion. Right? And... I just need you to get on. Yeah. <sighs> This is important, guys. <laughs> right, so. Now, when I get on, now something I didn't do there because I'm brushed. <laughs> right? Why didn't I do? Good. Oh, how important is that? Limit. <laughs> right. That way. That way. 
大麦，大麦，大麦，大麦。Time limit. <laughs> so if I can influence the high quarters, then I can disengage them. I can get rid of her motor. All right? She's got no motor. If, she, if the horse is really with me, I just keep disengaging them and pray. <laughs> It's actually really fast. She she, has... It took me two years, guys. I, I broke her at six. Six years of age. It's a long then. story. She wasn't mine. I broke her at six. She came over from Texas as a two-year-old. Broke her at six. And she's really easy to break, but I couldn't slow her down. It was a puppy rocket. It took her two years to get her going for me. And I've ended up keeping her. She's nearly 20 now. Right, so. If I can get the hind quarters, then... We do the one round stop, guys. Every horse, I, I concentrate on this, so I feel safe. So, I'm going to reach down and I'm going to touch her to a stop and hold till she gives the chain. So important, guys. So important. The so one round stop disengages. <laughs> <laughs> So that was it, guys. That was 
our showcase on the main arena for the Saturday. How well did that go? We, oh, it was nerve-wracking, to, to be honest, to start with. We'd never done anything that big. And to know it was broadcast live throughout the world, really. Uh, it was live broadcast. And, yeah, it went really well. Great feeling. Mel was in tears, said, oh, how fantastic everything went. Um, so, yeah, we were sceptical about coming and it all ended up great. And we had a, a lovely meal that night with our friends in the pub. Uh, so, yeah, we'll pick up now on day two, um, which is the Sunday. And we've got another, um, like, showcase to do. But it's the first one and it's in the morning at 10 o'clock. So we're just having, I've just sat on Nita now, just before I do my 10 o'clock showcase in Arena 2. And I'm there. And then the display team comes in and starts doing a, a little something in here. And it's only a little tiny clip. And I just tagged on the end of them for a minute. It was really funny. And yeah, and we're just about to start our, I'll show you a couple. It went live again. I'll show you a couple of little bits from, from that second demo. It's a totally different theme. Let's see whether you can pick something up from it. She knows because I always, always am consistent with the outside leg, which is the number three, goes on for it to go the opposite way. It's unbelievable what it does. Now, the fact that you use your two, Hello, Wendy. which is, I'm going right now, so two is the inside leg, two is this inside leg. The fact that I always go out in the circle with this leg, okay, it means that if I need to, if a horse dives in, then I can pick her up because she knows that that inside leg, because my, my outside leg comes back, she knows she's got to go this way. She knows now she's got to go left because my right foot my right foot went behind. Now she knows she's got to go this way. And if I put my leg back more, right, she knows she's got to go more tighter. I put my leg back more. Okay. There's so much I want to tell you, but right. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, guys, I, I got obsessive with it and spent a lot of money learning, and it could have been explained to me. It's so easy. Um, when, so I explained it as I knew I needed explaining. So right, guys, same as English, same as English range really. That is, it's just that I like rope. You know, I use a Western saddle because I used to watch Champion the Wonder Horse. I don't know if anyone knows that. It was a kid, it was a kid, you know, in a Western saddle on a Western horse, right? Uh, but I will say this, um, most people who follow us now, shall I say, is a, a, a English, because it's the same training. It's the same training. And I would probably try any, a nice English saddle, but I fall off less in this, okay? I feel more secure in one of these. Uh, so that's why. So, right, the black tape, Black tape is the buckle. So you, for your English reins, how many people got English reins? Yeah, most here, right. The red there, see the red? Can everyone see that red tape? The red tape is if I'm in trouble. If I'm in trouble. But at the standstill, I'll run my hand down to the red tape, and I know that's exactly right then for where it sits on my hip. 
for her to bend to the correct place because a lot of people make mistakes. They go here and they do this and it's just not, it's not the right place and it can cause difficulty. Or they can go here and it's too, too bent and the horse gets off balance. So you set them so it's just right to get your flex, you know. And then I'm going to touch her to the stop and bend her to the stop, okay? So that's what that one is for. Now the white, a lot of people have trouble. We all want, I mean, I ride her loose a lot. But it's such a good thing for us to be able to get a nice headset and a nice, like, nice feel in the back so it's a little bit more collected. Um, so that's what that, those whites are. I work, work out where on my saddle or where on the horse, sometimes I might put a mark on the horse. So I know when I get hold of these, they're level, I've got my hands level, and I can come into this point here and have a nice headset. Right? It, it's one of the best things for anyone. They know where to set their hands for a nice headset. Look, to get that little shoulder step, the longer that took for her to find it from those cues, the more it meant to her. Can you imagine? Oh, all of that, and all it was was that. And then you reiterate that. And then about, I asked Buck Brannerman years ago, Oh, oh, it's so light, your horse, Buck. How, how many times did you do that release for that noise? Oh, it's about 300,000 times on that one. And that's, you know, she knows she's going to release for hardness. So each ride is important. Guys, what's next, Charlotte? Oh, you've actually done all yeah. my list. Oh. That's okay. I nearly lost this this morning. Because we're... We're, <laughs> we're out of time now. No. Well, not but, yet. You've got five minutes. Right. And I think Mel has asked if she can... Uh, do you want to come out here, Mel? Uh, right. Oh, yeah, stand by Nita, Mel. Just pull it open. Get your leg over, Mel. Yeah, the, the, I'd just like to very quickly say that parts of this video, the audio isn't great, the, 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 the filming isn't great because they were done on live broadcasts and the internet wasn't very good there. But still, still a good video, I think. And one, me and Tanya and Mel and Charlotte and everyone can look back on in years to come. So I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this, but there's just one little bit to come. So that's pretty much almost the end of this video. Um, this showcase video of our experiences going to the showcase. We are going back next year, so that check us out for that next year. Now, Mel, on the left here with Tanya. Mel, I've known Mel for a long time. Mel is 80 years of age now. She lost her horse that she actually bought off me many, many years ago, a little, a little Welsh cob. But um, Mel lived, really, really, really misses having a horse. So with Nita being pretty much 20 years of age now. Mel has kept involved with us and has actually took Nita on. She she actually loans Nita now. Well, pretty much Nita's hers now, but Nita's kept here. The only time I really ride Nita is when I come to something like this or do a demo. And obviously I've got to replace Nita with my own horse. And I'm still searching for that special one. Oh, that's the parrot now. Just, just going to kick off. Sorry. But um, yeah, um, we're gonna. Uh, Mel asked if she could read this poem that somebody had put on our supporter site um, about a, just a, just an old sorrel they they call it, uh, and that's like a red horse, a little bit like Nita, very much like Nita. Um, it's the American sort of saying for it. So yeah, the, the um, Mel asked if she could she could uh, read this poem, which we said yeah, fine, Mel. So you'll hear that poem now. We won't, I won't say anything more. That'll be the end of the video when she's read this poem, which is a lovely poem. And basically after that, we, uh, we, we, we headed home on the Sunday. I did seven and a half hours in the dark, getting home, Nita never murmured. She was fantastic. The trailer wasn't so full because of what had all been sold. And basically we got back. Uh, everything was fine, a good experience. And yeah, till the next uh, video, which shouldn't be long. And ciao for now and happy trails and...
Good luck, guys, with everything you do. Goodbye. Yeah. Mel's, Mel's going to read a poem. Nothing blows my mind more than people in the horse world saying just a plain sorrel or in search of posts for people looking for their dream horse and stating open to anything of any colour, just no sorrels. What is a sorrel? A sorrel is a horse that has earned its place, not hiding behind or relying on his unique flashy coat colour to make him stand out in the world. A sorrel is more hard and dry than I have ever seen in a horse. A sorrel is a horse whose value is solely based on substance, ability and mind, not on cosmetics. A sorrel is red, the colour of power. A sorrel has taught me more than any horse ever has. A sorrel keeps me as a horseman as he is as a horse. A sorrel is a horse that should never be underestimated. A sorrel is the one horse on the property that you couldn't buy from me. Even caught me. Sorry about that, guys. Mel lost it a little bit there. She was getting very Isn't emotional. That just wonderful? <laughs> you were crying at McDonald's reading it out this morning. Well, I knew I'd get weepy. That's a wrap then, guys. Well done, Mel. Well done. Right, y'all. Yeah. And there's Steve over there. What? He said that everyone can go and have a cuddle with her in a Yeah. Together. All right. We'll take. We'll go around. I'm going to keep you live, guys. I'm going to keep you live because Steve's bringing the meter in. Here he comes. I'm still on. Anyone who's watched today, thanks for watching. And thank you for commenting. Yeah, we love reading all the comments later and we do watch it all later. So thanks guys for watching. Bye for now.